I'm Dr. Stella Emanuel. I'm a primary care physician in Houston, Texas. You know, um, I actually uh, went to medical school in West Africa, Nigeria, where I took care of malaria patients, treated them with hydroxychloroquine and stuff like that. So I'm actually used to these medications. I'm here because I am... You know what, I won't bore you with the entire video the full video i'm sure you probably already saw it um this is not a typical video that i would normally do on this channel but um i i needed a platform to you know share my opinion about the video uh about this uh doctor uh texas-based physician uh, dr stella emmanuel um uh Again, I don't want to bore you by watching everything uh, that she said in the video. I'm sure you already saw it, but I will quickly recap on some things that she said. She talked about the use of hydroxychloroquine. Um, she talked about, uh, specifically about the fact that she treated these patients in the clinic. Uh, she talked about the use of masks. She talked about uh, also the um, reopening, the reopening of schools and stuff like that. You know, First, as a Nigerian, as a West African, even I, I, I'm not sure if she's, she's Nigerian, but she went to school in Nigeria. Um, I'm, I'm quite disappointed, you know, and that's me just being frank. And I'm sure a lot of people are. Um, not that I don't get where, you know, some of the frustration might come from, um, because I believe uh, this whole the the response to coronavirus has been incredibly politicized and you know you have one side that tends to um exaggerate a lot of things you know not that this is not bad as it is but you know pandering to a particular spectrum of the population you know they tend to exaggerate a part a, a lot of the story and you have another side that tends to minimize um the reality at the expense of people's uh, lives and people people are dying and people have been dying and you know to try to make little of it and just look for reasons to to hide the truth in a way also catering to another portion of the population so I, I because of that political divide and all of that mess it's 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 incredibly frustrating for you know some of the people in the medical community about where we go with the response to coronavirus but thankfully we've got science and you know science is not about emotions it's not about personal opinion it's about you know evidence uh reproducibility of 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 that evidence and you know, just to go back on some of the things she said about, for example, about hydroxychloroquine. Um, not that we didn't know about hydroxychloroquine and not that a lot of people, a lot of physicians didn't try hydroxychloroquine. Um, you know, I, I did a video on this channel probably about two months ago, maybe in the beginning, because, you know, being in New York in the, in the real thick of it, um, it was a, it was a, it was a, incredibly, you know, stressful period where um, we're really just trying everything and really nothing was working. And there was that study, well, it wasn't necessarily a randomized controlled trial, you know, the standard that would normally engage in medicine today. But there was that study in, in, from France that talked about using hydroxychloroquine, using azithromycin and things like that. But one thing we were able to pick up from whatever information that we were getting clearly was you know, there was no ICU data on these uh, uh, in that particular study. And some of the other subsequent studies that talked about hydroxychloroquine, there was no real ICU data that said that, you know, patients that were really, really, really sick got, you know, any benefit from it. And also, we, what we know about coronavirus, most of the time, you know, a lot of, peop a lot of patients will get better, you know, with supportive treatment. And it wasn't necessarily that there was a cure or something that you were giving to them that made them go better. You just had to support them through that process. So to come out and say first that you treated patients in the clinic and they all got better, 
And because of that, that applies to all situations without clear evidence. At least now we've gotten subsequent trials that have shown that maybe there's really not nothing efficacious about using hydroxychloroquine. We use hydroxychloroquine a lot of our inpatients, you know, admitted patients, ICU patients, and you know, there was there was no real. Just these are anecdotes. Again, these were just real cases. There was no particular improvement. And for somebody to say, oh yeah, I tried it in my patient in the clinic, and because of that, it should work. Because of that, there are fake doctors trying to kill people. You know, it, it was just incredibly frustrating to watch the video, um, especially when you know the reality. And um, so that's 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 one that's one part of it. Science is about evidence and that's what we hope to practice in medicine today and it applies to all parts of medicine whether it's you know uh, advancement in treatment of cancer or adv advancement in management of uh, uh, all sorts of diseases so if we base what we do on evidence on science it's very responsible for somebody who's in the medical community to discard that science because their argument supports a a, a narrative that may be favored you know by some in the political spectrum it's very responsible you know it 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 puts lives at risk and you know for a nigerian for a west african physician myself it's it's very disappointing and um that that's one thing i would like to say about that um the the second thing uh she talked about also you know, wearing masks and things like that. You know, th that's another thing. I know there's been a lot of debate about whether to wear a mask or, or or not. And again, that has been incredibly politicized at the expense of people's lives. But what we know so far, not to say that masks will 100% protect you. You know, nobody's saying that. But we're saying that to be able to get through this whole process for all of us, and a lot of countries have been have benefited from this. To get through this process, we have to limit the spread. And there's still a lot of asymptomatic, you know, potential asymptomatic spread. And because of this, if we, you know, encourage people to wear the mask, it will limit that. If they have droplets, it doesn't spread, you know, potentially stays with them. You know, it, it, just, it, just, it just helps us get through this thing faster. And it's clear that a lot of the mistakes that we've made about whether to wear a mask, about whether to you know, initially shut down and things like that, a lot of people have paid for that with their lives. And when stupidity like this comes up, you know, animated, like, you know, it's just incredibly sad and frustrating because people are dying. She's saying nobody needs to die, but people are dying. And a lot of those people are dying because we can't get over this thing. We can't put politics beside. We can't just focus on evidence and do what is right for people. And, and it's, it's, it's sad. I know of the economic impact that shutdowns have, that, shut, like, like, that shutting schools down have, you know, and it's important to consider that fact, but at the same time, we have to do things with common sense. You can't reopen schools in, for example, places that have high case numbers. What about the teachers that are over 50 that potentially get this disease from the kids at school? What about their lives? You know, it's easy for somebody to sit, sit in, in Congress or wherever it is that they sit and make these decisions without considering that. And you know, when people, usually influenced by political ideations, uh, uh, political uh, inclinations, uh, come and say we should do this, we should do that, in the face of evidence against that particular thing, it is incredibly sad. And I, I'm disappointed. I, I hope people don't 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 see this kind of video and, you know, look to people like me, a Nigerian, West African doctor, and think that uh, we're that uh, careless about information, about, about you know, the integrity of, of what we say, our own integrity, um, about evidence. And it's, it's just... It's just sad. I, I, hope, I hope we can do better as a society. I hope we can leave the politics behind and really do what, uh, you know, really benefits people. People are dying, sadly, and a lot of that is from our own doing, our own inability to, to, to do the right thing. We have to do better.